Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at an interesting 1800 from Skyloom, a brand that we've all been familiar with over the last few years. Now this is one of their first gasket mount kits and it is a CNC aluminum but I thought it was a complete CNC aluminum kit based on the price but it is a top aluminum with a bottom ABS case. This also does come with the replaceable or hot swappable knobs but unlike the GK75 these require that you open up the keyboard in order to replace the collar piece whereas on the GK75 the collar piece is a rubber insert that can be pulled in and out in order to change the spot from a hot swap switch to a hot swap knob you must insert the collar that it comes with now taking this apart is not that difficult it requires removing two screws from the bottom of the keyboard and then removing any knobs that you have installed and the top plate will come off as we can see this keyboard is actually quite flexy for a sky moon. It does also include the split spacebar module. Now today we are taking a look at the DK8980 Plus. So this is a kit that comes with the switches. In this case we have the Skyloom Mechanical Rose switches that are a tactile switch similar to the Holy Panda with a dustproof stem. Now the aluminum finish on this kit seems to be a bit fragile. I found two nicks on it as soon as I pulled it out of the box and since the knobs do require some sort of leverage to pull them up and using a keycap puller I created a couple of more scratches on the badge part of the hot swap switch. Also loaded with GK6 profile Skyloom keycaps in a Miami night profile color profile uh, GK6 appears to be a slightly taller than XDA with a little bit more roundness to the corners but they are comfortable to type on the legends are a bit skewed though and do not seem to be as centered on every keycap as would be preferable one of the things that personally bugs me is that on the number row, all of the sub-legends that should be above the number are below the number. Now this kit does allow programming for the knobs and certain keys through software. And it does have three mode connectivity with a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Now one thing, this kit does come in weighing at fully built at 1,315 grams, though the majority of that weight seems to be taken up by the majority of the case, since the top CNC frame only weighs 445 grams. Now since this kit has to be taken apart in order to change the switches, it kind of loses some of the hot swap easeability that the GK75 has. Once swapped out, you can figure out where you'd like the knobs as it does have the four positions above the numpad, the delete, and the escape key. So you have six slots as to where to choose to insert your knobs. Now it does come with three spare knobs, but the knobs that are included have a different style than the knobs that are installed. I don't know if this was on purpose or this was accidental. Let's get technical. Today we're taking a look at the GK980 Plus from Skyloon, a three mode 1800 keyboard with a 4000 milliamp hour battery. Now this is both a CNC aluminum with an ABS bottom case keyboard. It has hot swap sockets, but six of the spots are allowed to swap in hot swap so uh, switches or hot swap knobs. This keyboard does come with the PC plate 
and plate mounted stabilizers that are a bit loose. Um, in this particular configuration, we are taking a look at the dark blue. We have the Skyloon Rose mechanical switches, as well as the GK6 Miami Knight ABS keycap set. This does come with a 4,000 milliamp hour battery and comes weighing in stock at 1,315 grams. The top CNC being 445 of those grams. The chin of this keyboard sits at 23 millimeters above the typing surface while the back sits at 32 millimeters providing for a default typing angle of 6 degrees. Using the first set of feet you will raise the back up to 41 millimeters providing for a 9 degree typing angle. Using the final pair of feet you will raise the back up to 46 millimeters providing for a 12 degree typing angle. So things I like about this Skyloom 980 plus 1800 3 mode is gotta be the hot spot knobs. Having four different spots where you can put your knob where it's more comfortable or choose to use numerous knobs and program it, that is a plus. Things that I don't like about this keyboard uh, to move from uh, the fact that it is an uh, aluminum CNC top with a ABS clear bottom, I'm not a big fan of where they put the pocket or how deep they put the USB port on the back. And I'm not a fan of the fact that they included different knob styles for the extra knobs. Um, I think that they should all be the same. But I'm also not a big fan of having to disassemble the entire keyboard just to remove one of the knobs and switch it to a different spot as you have to put on that collar um, and on the GK75 they have a rubber basically blocker that sits around the knob and I don't know why they didn't go with this as well um, but I do again I just reiterate it's it is a nice keyboard I think that it's priced a little bit higher than it should be now they do have some pretty good prices for the all ABS uh, versions of this keyboard uh, bare bone and I think that would be a, a decent base to build up from as this keyboard sounds pretty decent stock now this is a very interesting keyboard and I think that it may appeal to some users but I find it hard to justify the price of $199 for this kit, bare bone. I'm curious to see what you guys think. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of the Skyloom GK980 Plus with Rose Glacier mechanical switches and the GK6 Miami Knights keycap set and ABS. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.